Hi everybody, this is Nancy and I'm here to be on a rant today. I am here to talk about why we don't want to use these oscillating sprinklers in the garden for your perennials and your shrubs. No thank you, this is not the way to water. When I was giving somebody the watering lecture today, I said, you know the oscillating sprinklers, the ones that go like this. I tell people, if you don't believe me, put a cup, a mug out, turn on one of these for an hour, and then see how much water is actually in the mug. What if you had planted a shrub like this beautiful aronia, brilliantissima, the red chokeberry? What if you had planted this and you ran this sprinkler every day for 20 minutes and you notice that in the cup you had this much water. What would happen is the roots right up here would get wet and the roots down below would never get wet and those roots would die. And this plant would be so stressed out that this plant would wilt every single day the minute the sun hit the soil because all the roots would be right up there. So that is not how you water. Lawn sprinklers are for lawns, for, for gardens, you want a deep soak. And once a garden is established, you don't have to water as often. So you really want to think about this. We've got information about this on the website. I've been talking about it a lot, but you really want to pay attention. Instead, what you want to do is to deep soak a plant. The other thing that you need to be able to do and I know my staff, I drive my staff crazy because I walk into the nursery, I've been out on the road all day, and the first thing I do is, that plant is wilted. And they're like, my God, we've been watering all day long. How can you see that? I can see it across the nursery yard. For example, can you spot the wilted plant here? That's giant Eupatorium gateway, Joe Pie weed. I could see that from across the nursery yard. Look at how big it is. Look at how many leaves it has. If I ever put a sprinkler on this garden, the sprinkler would have to be on all night to make a difference. Instead, we want to deep soak this. So what you want to do is you want to turn on a hose. It doesn't have to be strong. It can be at a trickle. And then you bring the hose in and you place it at the bottom of the plant. And then go deadhead. Go set a timer for 10 minutes. Go have a glass of water. Go make a phone call to somebody that you want to talk to. And don't come back and take this away till you're sure that the entire root ball is saturated down to the bottom of the root zone. Now every plant has a different root zone and you don't necessarily know what kind of roots they have. But when you look at some of these plants and the size pots that they're in on the benches, you've got to at least get the water down to the bottom of that. And then after a plant like this one's been in the garden for five, 10 years, the roots are gonna go deeper and wider. So deep soak and then walk away. And don't do it again unless the plant needs it. And don't do this superficial everyday watering. Plants do wilt during the day on a hot sunny day. If you're not sure whether a plant is dry, if it's wilted during the day and then in the evening it's all perked up, most likely it was just hot. But everything's a little dry right now, so you just walk around and monitor your plants. Yesterday I noticed a tree hydrangea, my vanilla strawberry tree hydrangea that I planted three years ago was dry. So I basically put the hose on it and then I, you know, walked around, did some weeding, did some deadheading. Went in the house, said something to my husband, came back outside, looked for a few monarch eggs, and then it was soaked. So take it from me, you don't have to water everything, but you've got to keep your eyes open, you've got to water deeply, and do not, under any circumstances, try and water with this. No, 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 because I will come and seek you down. You can't do this. This is really bad for a flower garden or a shrub garden. This is for lawns only. Okay, so this is Nancy from NatureWorks saying, water deeply, water less often, water fairly, and we'll see you soon at the garden center. Bye-bye.